my bad. Yeah, you might think you would lose any game sound. Sorry, what? I think you would lose in-game sound anyway. Alright, so I'm going to be using the uh, Ember Mage for one good reason, and I will explain all about that glitch or why we use this character instead. Even though, well, it's it's actually 50 minutes faster than any other character because of that one glitch, so whenever I get to that level, I will explain it all in detail. Alright, um, well I'm ready to go, so I'll count down 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> so yeah, so like I say, I'm using the Ember Mage, and that is probably the best character overall because of the uh, Frost Face, which is kind of like Teleport from Diablo 2. Um, also, what I'm, I'm going to be killing a lot of enemies early on until I can hit level 7. And after level 7 I won't need to get out of my way for enemies, quests, or you know anything. Uh, sorry, I mean level 14 I won't be getting out of my, going out of my way. So there's a few things that I want to happen in this run. First is getting a staff from this quest, which has... Uh, quite a low chance of actually happening. <clears throat> also, I will need to get two side dungeons. One in the first... I don't, I'm, I don't know what the name of the fields are, to be honest, but it's right after you leave the town for the first time, and the next one is some kind of spider cave. Alright, so... I, Right now, my experience is got pre was pretty bad. I thank you for your it's good only if you hit level three on this character on this uh, quest here. So, so I'm gonna accept a few quests, turn in a few quests and stuff, and now I'm gonna have to attack a few enemies with the staff to get level three, so I can actually level up prismatic bolt. And that might take a little bit, just because of that experience that I did not get in the first map. Alright, so first good thing, the first the first dungeon spawned like right, right on my way. And I'm gonna try to hit level four, potentially five in in here. It, everything is set up so I can try to hit level fourteen right after I enter Act Two, or a little bit before. But hitting level fourteen before Act Two is uh, almost impossible unless you have some really really insane RNG, which. Uh, unique monsters and stuff. <clears throat> First thing you notice with the Ember Mage also is that whenever you fill up your charge bar, you can free cast for as long as you want. And that's and and that's pretty helpful for this part, I guess. Also, another thing I want to look out for is a ring with one socket. It doesn't matter what the ring does, I just need one socket, and that's for middle of Act 3, which is gonna give me give me a gem that is um, Meta Region, which will be very helpful later on. 
So right now I'm about to hit level four, and I did I did not actually hit level four before the boss, so that's not very good. Actually. So I found a few rings in here, and I will check in a moment to see if any of those are one socket. Okay, I got one. So that's re that's really good. I I can now stop looking for that, or I can just skip uh, doing gamble altogether because nothing in this run is gonna matter. No equipment, not like no armor at all. Except the helmet from Grail, and um, what else? Yeah, the, the weapon from that one quest in Act Two. I don't know the exact name of that weapon, but it has a chance to give you to to have um, a stat that reduces armor per hit, and the glitch makes use of that. So if you if you get a minus twenty eight armor or something around that. Uh, the glitch will potentially make make it drop to minus one thousand something per hit because of the actual glitch, which is not going to happen yet. It's going to happen level seven. Right now, I'm not getting good luck. Uh, one thing you want you want to do actually also is make sure your charge mastery, your charge bar is almost filled up when you go to these two because you really don't want to use all your mana potions. You will need it until it cleaves Grail, and after that, it doesn't really matter what the hell what the hell you do with it. Because of another glitch that I'm going to explain a little bit later, which is going to happen after Grail. Which is the first boss. So. so I'm trying to conserve my mana potions right now, just for the sake of this uh, marathon run. Because if you run out of, of mana, it makes makes you need to um, mail attack everything, which is a hundred times slower. But I have a lot of health potion so it's pretty good so I can I can stay here and level up on these guys a little bit alright whatever good enough I need to it'll hit level 6 at least before entering the dungeon Six. So I guess this is, gonna, this is gonna take a little bit longer because those enemies don't give optimal experience in level five.
Also, if you're wondering why I'm not actually leveling up my stats right now, is because they don't really matter that much at this level. This, not this early anyway. Actually, they don't really matter, but later when you get the brand uh, sk skill and stuff, now they start to actually change the course of the game. So another thing, I need to hit level 7 at least before the next lore, that's, that, that's definitely something I need to help. So I'm gonna check around for enemies everywhere. Whenever I get level 7 is when this game breaks down. You, I won't, I won't be casting any. Well, I would be casting one thing, and then nothing for the rest of the floor. I guess it's a good time to start playing what the glitch is gonna do because I'm almost level seven. Um, basically, the glitch allowed me to become a DPS monster without actually casting anything or doing anything but walking. Uh, it's pretty much just stacking up a, a spell non-stop, like infinitely stacking up a, a spell to become a DPS machine. And that spell is only available at level 7. So yeah, almost there. I did not hit level 7 before the next one, but it might be hope with these guys. Or not. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter, the next enemy is gonna give me my level anyway, so it's all good. Just making sure I have some DPS. Oh, my, my weapon is not that great, but as long as it doesn't give me a uh, knockback, then it doesn't really matter. Staffs gives you knockback very often. There we go. Level 7, I'm gonna get in Shocking Burst. I'm gonna give one skill in Shocking Burst. And put everything after that. So the glitch goes like this. Uh, if I can actually hit it. Okay. So by using the spell on an enemy that is pretty far away from you, uh, with, a, with the right timing, you can actually trick the game into thinking that you're actually casting the spell, but you're not. So it stays on the screen forever and it still does the DPS thing without using your mana. So you can you can actually stack as many of those shocking bursts as you can as you want. And the DPS is just gonna increase even more. So yeah, basically what you're doing right now is uh, walk up to enemies, or groups of enemies, and uh, everything just explodes in front of you. So now that I got the Grailhead at piece, um, well, I didn't get I didn't get any mana region equipment, but that's no big deal. Still. Well, now that I have the Grail headset, I'm gonna take a look and oh, hello. take a look and see what I got. Cast speed is pretty good. Alright, I don't need anything else, so I'm just gonna sell everything. I will need the money though for the next glitch. Which is basically infinite money. So by selling the potion while tricking the game 
and selling the potion, the uh, armor, armor, potion, or weapon tab in any shop, as long as there is an item in those tabs, the potion, or well, I guess in this case, the uh, potion, the resistant potion is uh, going to be worth a little bit more than. What is usually worth, um, so you can just check the game into selling it for more and just make a lot of profit on it. So now I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try to get up to 99 potion so I can buy potion or you know prepare my. Uh, Shopping for later because I'm all I'm gonna buy now is potions, scrolls, and I'm gonna take a look only in the first town. Gonna take a look for equipment with mana region. Oh. Right, now we got we got 99. We're just gonna get way more money from that. Also, there is um, there is a uh, potential soft luck here. Not not really game, and it's not gonna end the run at all. But it's basically going to glitch the potion into the potion tab, and with that, the potion will become part of the shop themselves and. You won't be able to get them back unless you buy them again, oh. which is something I will not do. But if I had to, I would have done it. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna buy around 60 of each potions until that's until Act Two and a bunch of waypoint scrolls. All right, now in Crow's Pass, I will try to find. Well, I'm gonna hope for um, another side dungeon to actually spawn, which is the Spider Cave. But in this case, I don't know the exact name for that dungeon. But hey, as long as I get it, everything's gonna be fine. Just because the Spider Cave actually gives some pretty damn good experience for this level. Not looking good so far. All right, we. I don't think we've got the Sparta Cave. It's probably somewhere in the west part of the map, which is not on my way. But yeah, that's all. It's whatever. Um, it's just going to make getting it's just going to make getting level 14 a little bit longer so it's just going to make me get level 14 in act 2 thing here th this um, this path to the uh, the mine is always the same and the best way to find it is actually going south from where you spawn and or southwest in most cases it's going to always lead to the entrance so for this one quest it's always the same thing
Okay, so... There's a chance that I actually die in this dungeon because of those uh, goblin sapper, whatever they are. Whenever they... they do, like suicide bombers or something like that? Something like that. Do you just blow up and you instantly die since you don't get any armor, you don't get anything at all. But hey, you can still walk in TNTs and stuff and not die at all. They don't do more. They don't do enough damage. Normally in this cave, I would try to reach level 11, but since I did not get the spider cave spawn, I will not be able to. Also, sometimes when enemies are on the stairs, uh, your padding is just going to get really weird. So you have to tab and attack in the direction to change the camera to make your character face the, the direction. Or else, if you don't have any spells, uh, you're just going to go around, circle until you can decide, oh hey, there's a stairs there. There's some stairs, let's get up. Alright, so I'm gonna use the uh, waypoint here just because the next objective is all the way up there. Let me know when I can get a shout out for the marathon. Oh, you can pretty much do it whenever. Alright, well, I uh, just wanted to remind everybody that this is the California Fire Relief Marathon, a three day long marathon raising money to support the Lake County Fire Relief Fund. It's a part of the Red, uh, Redwood Credit Union and Press Democrat. It's combo efforts to raise money to help the current wildfire victims in the Lake County and Napa areas where uh, only just one month ago, over a thousand people lost their homes. So all donations will go to this. It's gonna mean a huge difference in the long run, so I highly suggest that if you have the money to, to spare, donate. We got some great incentives, some great runs. Please support this uh, marathon. Oh, also, I want to give a shout out to uh, the guy with the beard, which is his actual Twitch handle. Uh, he's the one that uh, showed me this glitch. It's it was known for a while on on, on some forums, but for the speedrun community, uh, nobody was aware of it. So just because of that, the run dropped by about 50 minutes. But for the person that actually found this glitch, I do not know who found it. It has been too long. So I found a pretty good uh, staff right now, but it is not going to be very useful since the DPS of most weapon exceed the 200 later. But if I can actually equip it right now.
Also, as you can see, the um, glitch works with DPS, the weapon DPS, but if I don't update my weapon soon, uh, my damage, even, even if I have like 50, 200 stacks of those shocking bursts, uh, I'm, my damage will not really increase that much just because the weapon DPS is horrible. But I, I am gonna get a really good weapon after this, this next boss, so... Hoping for maybe a weapon drop on a normal enemy. One that I can actually equip. So now we come up to the uh, first boss, the, the boss for the first act, the uh, region. Normally with a good weapon, this boss would take about 10-15 seconds, but since my weapon is not updated, it might take just a few seconds. Just a few more seconds. Also, the, the shocking burst spell has a... Uh, percent the chance to stun the enemy and the more stacks of shock and burst that you have the more chance you will actually stun him. So right now he's pretty much stun luck here. Well, that was some pretty garbage weapon stuff. Not very good. Right now, I'm gonna just look around for mana region equipment. Any kind of mana region would be good. Right. Also, another glitch in this case: if you drag the uh, armor you want to buy on the buyback tab, you pay for a very, very low amount. Yeah, that's not very good, actually. So I guess I'm gonna have to buy a random one to get more DPS. You gained in fame. You have received a quest. My level right now is very, very low. Lower than what I was expecting to be. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, I will most likely get Thrust Face uh, going to the Art Fire. Or whatever his name is. Uh, well. It would be fun to actually get the glitch if my pet would act stop killing enemies.
So for the for the remaining two level, I'm going to look around for more enemies to kill. Also hype for the uh, the worst possible spawn for this location as well. But most of the time that I'm actually losing by leveling up will be gained back later because of that one armor that gives me a lot of mana regen. So this way I'm not going to have to wait for mana to fill up whenever I use crosslinks. It's not going to get me a world record, but... At least it's going to cut the estimate by a few minutes, just with that. So now I'm gonna have to kill. I'm gonna go and kill the Manticore just to trigger the Sphinx to let me enter the tomb to get to the Artifier. I'm not sure if it's called Artifier or Artistifier. Um, I've never actually took the time to look at his name. But anyway, it's the next boss after this one. Also, uh, one little downside with this glitch, whenever your, uh, I guess your weapon DPS is not high enough for the area you're in, sometimes the, the damage you do will not, like, actually hit the enemy. Like, you, you're just, even if you stack 200 of those things, it's not going to actually hit it 200 times. Sometimes it's only going to attack it like 10 times. As you can see, and whenever you move, if you're actually facing the enemy, it's going to actually hit him 200 times. Sometimes it's not going to, for some reason. Alright, one more level, and then I can start teleporting around. And possibly get it. Better weapon than this crap that I have. Also, if you kill him right there where I was standing, you can actually stun lock the uh, Manticore help helper, which makes it, makes it better because the helper. Uh, really likes to fly up in the air. Oh, and um, great, great. I did not activate the waypoint for the Sphinx. I thought I did, but I didn't. So I'm gonna have to walk all the way to it. 
Uh, I got a a donation just in right now. It's okay to read it yeah, off. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna have to walk for like two minutes. So. We got a ten dollar donation in from Lauren. Thank you very much for this. All we got is a message that clearly says Dragon Quest One Princess Percent. Thank you very much, Lauren. With that, we're like $151 now towards our overall goal. Thank you. Nice. Hopefully the goal is met. Alright. Okay, so now that we made it back to the Sphinx, thanks for... Thanks to me not activating this waypoint earlier, um, now we can enter this area. And um, the quest that the Sphinx just gave me is the quest that will give me my, uh, I guess, endgame weapon, quote unquote endgame weapon, if it has minus armor on hit. Uh, if it doesn't, it really doesn't matter that much, it's just going to make boss slower, a little bit slower, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. Put some more dexterity. Oh wait, I can I equip the next one here. Oh yeah, these guys have oh my god these dog keys. Uh don't mind it. Frickacy, frickacy. All right, so these uh, big guy, big guy with a shield that you just saw, um, they can actually reflect your damage when they have the, the shield up. So that's why I instantly die because, well, I DPS myself to death. So, yeah, but it's really. Cool. Also, another reason why you do not want to get your level 14 here. Alright, level 14. It's okay if I take a few hits. Uh, won't really matter anymore. So now we have frost phase. Now we can start teleporting around, finding stairs a little bit faster, and killing some enemies on the way, which just makes the game lag a little bit more. With every cast that I do, one of that shocking burst stack is being spawned as well. I can cancel, I could cancel the, uh, the glitch, but I find it pretty funny. There's around 85 of those stacks on. You just don't see your character anymore, you just become a big ball of lightning. Uh, yeah, I died again. Not bad. So for this boss, sometime you'll see him get stunned, sometime you 
won't be. Uh, I guess the percent, percent chance on boss are lower. I am not sure. It's taking a little bit longer with this enemy because my weapon is not too great. So just keep moving around him. Yeah, I should really, really, really change my weapon. Or something. This weapon is really not good. So I just found a really, really good weapon. This is probably the most minus armor on hit I've seen in this game. Well, for a normal, for a normal run, I guess not New Game Plus Five because those have like minus five hundred, minus thousand stuff like that. So I'm gonna buy a lot of potions here. Buy a lot, like over a hundred for each, if possible. If you die, you just lose like so much money that you would have to redo the whole glitch. Another thing you do not want to do. But at this level, really, you really cannot do anything about it. I gotta check what level or what stat I require on this weapon, because. Uh, focus 79, okay. Okay, I can do that. I like four levels. Another terrible spawn for the Ginny. Uh, usually you would want him to spawn on the left side of the map, really close to the entrance, but this will have to do.
So now is the auto scroller part of the game. Uh, this this one was actually fairly okay with the minus 12 armor. Not better than this minus 59. Pretty much the god weapon. But I can't equip it because I don't have stats for it. Just a reminder for everybody that is watching currently, uh, we still have some pretty big incentives coming up for the Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, yeah, Mystic Quest run. If you are interested in, in naming one of the three characters uh, for Mystic Quest Race, great news! A lot of you have a chance to get your favorite names in, because the top three names will be given out to each of the players. So even if you see a name that's way out uh, out of your reach donation-wise, feel free to try and take over one of the other donations. See if you have more uh, stuff to say about the marathon, you can go for it. Because it's pretty much another two minutes of gauntlet. Right. Well, as for the two donations that are currently in the lead for the Final Fantasy Mr. Quest race, we have Bidoof and Reinbach, each at $10. So those are still easily beatable, and there's still one slot left open at the very least for a name. Uh, later down the line... We also have the, um, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland Boss Rush available. Mr. Shasta, it will gladly do this for you guys, which is $25 to meet. Easy enough to do. Also, would like to take this moment to say uh, all the money and donations that will be uh, that is currently being made is going to the Lake County Fire Relief Fund, uh, partnered with Red Redwood Credit Union and the Press Democrat, to create a fund that goes directly to the wildfire victims in the Lake County and Napa areas in California. These of the funding will go towards helping uh, the people that have lost their homes, children that are currently without clothes to go to school, and very other living necess necessities. Now the, that the countlet is finally over, by the way, you didn't you did not have to kill that unique 
enemy down there, that uh, unique monster. Uh, it still triggers you finishing it, even if you don't quest. actually kill him. In a in a run, this is probably the first real scary part of the game, just because the uh, tentacles coming out of the ground can actually one hit you if they crit you. So it's not it it didn't happen very often before. But, uh, it can still happen. Uh, 